Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon, uh, where I'm not doing great. I I'm just not doing great. Oh, oh, I've generated a game report. It gets me some research points. I never actually did this. Was this new? I don't remember it. It's give me, oh, it's giving me a lot of research points though. All right. All right, horror and action is a great combination. Story quest seems to not be important. Oh, okay. Maybe I can find out what went wrong. What went wrong here? What went wrong on my NES game? This is important. All right, tell me. World design seems, world design is important? The market really doesn't like it when we publish very similar games too close to each other. It was just a port. All right, fine, fine, fine. I want... Where's RPG games? I'll make a life game. Game of life. Life simulator. For NES. All right. I gotta... Maybe I can do something for it. The NES is crushing it. Oh, wait, what? Genre action plus plus? Interesting. But I want to make Nintendo games. Using the Dingus engine. Okay. Uh, some adventure. A life adventure. <laughs> 60,000? Oh, God. Is it because of the Dingus engine? That uh, PC is still pretty cheap. I'm just gonna make a cheap PC game. It's a, for the life, life, uh, life, a life adventure game. Uh, we'll call it. Uh, uh, what's a, what's an adventure through life? Uh, a. Uh, we'll call this one. Uh, 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 dreams of age. Uh, keep. We'll keep. Develop. We're gonna keep development costs slow on this. Uh, we'll give it a story though. That could be cool. Okay, try this recent study suggests increasing variety of gaming devices also create more more specialized games. Sun platforms will be more popular with younger gamers. Got it. Uh, I cannot research my target audience. Target audience. I'm looking at him. Uh, I feel like dialogue's gonna be important for this. It's a life adventure. Maybe some, maybe level design too. Not gonna be very technology, technological advanced, just because I'm not putting much into that. World design, I guess. Dicks. But the design might be up there? Hopefully? From the massive success of the uh, NES console, there's now rumors that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home console of their own. You mean Sega? <laughs> Just call it what it is. Alright, I gotta work these bugs out before I finish it. It's got good design. It's for us a market that doesn't really have much of this yet. Alright, cool. A little more polish. I right, put a bug back in it? Go back! Fuck. I hope people don't mind the bug. Whatever, release it. Uh, in the meantime, maybe we do some contract work so that I'm not completely boned. Playtest. I'll playtest. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes! This is the best game I've ever made! Uh, to some people. Look, it's better than everything... That have been releasing, okay? Life and adventure is a great combination. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take this. I am epi actually okay with this. Uh, just sell some units. Bring some cash so I don't get fucked by the bank. Uh, the Sega Master System. The Master V. The company claims that the Master Sega Master System is technically superior to the massive, massively successful NES by Nintendo and plans to release in the coming months. It, it did have better tech in it. Oh, I actually sold better at second week because people told their friends. Hooray! Money's coming back! And fans are coming back! 
Uh, let's do some research on that. Dreams of Age is, is a surprise hit with players. Hmm. If only it was on the NES. Soon. I promise. All right, what can you tell me about Dreams of Age? Life and adventure sounds... Sound seems to be not be important. And platform genre match. Adventures on PC games. Like point and click adventures? Uh, this is a reminder that bank require back to pay back 140000 in three months. I actually have that, so fuck you. Okay, can I... Ooh, target audience. Can I... Uh, sports! Uh, I gotta keep researching this other bullshit just to get what I want. Uh, let's get... Uh, research a racing one. I guess. Just get it out of the way. Dreams of Age? Still doing... Still selling. That's good. Alright. Got that done. Now can I research... Ooh, Cyberpunk. Oh, a Cyberpunk game would be really cool. Especially for the Super Nintendo. Where you... There are shadows and you run. Like a sort of... Cyberpunk. Alright, the Master System is now released. Will I be in Brazil? Because there'll be a crazy amount of fans in Brazil for it. Let's research the target, target audience too. This could also help. I feel like that could help. How do I... I forget how I get a bigger... I want a studio with other people working with me. Alright, so the SAS Master Sim has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say the console is not very well marketed in North America, but will flourish in other parts of the world. Accurate. Okay. Everyone young, everyone are mature. Uh, for everyone. For the, um... Oh, it's got another licensing cost there. NES. A, uh... A racing game. Simu racing simulator. I, I'm saying making all kinds of games rather than focusing on a genre. I will later in my career, I swear. But for now, uh, this will be a um, what kind of what kind of racing game would I make? Uh, 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 Turbo Train. Off the rails. <laughs> it's got sweet fucking graphics for the NES. <laughs> all right. Bank came back, took the money. Great, good. Uh, so story doesn't really seem important for racing, but the engine and graphics do. Uh, what will people say of their games? Or high scores? Or uh, do I have to get so much money or so many fans before an improved studio? Is that what it was? All right, so let's go. Artificial intelligence. Dialogue's like nothing. I think that's how it would work. Because you're going to be racing against other people and you want them to be realistic. Otherwise, you know, what good is it? Uh, I think sound's going to be more important than world design. And it's almost make a, like a really good looking racing game. Some sweet ass trains. So in this one, it like turbos so fast it goes off the rails. Uh, so sort of like you're racing on the tracks, but then you can also like deviate from it. It's, it's super cool. Uh, I'm gonna see. Maybe I could just, just spend a little time to polish this bad boy up. Eight thousand dollars a month? Holy crap! My garage is expensive to live in. I like my DeLorean though. Uh, doesn't look like I'm doing much polishing here. So let's finish it up. Oops. Getting up there. And as I slowly get better at it, I, I gotta release it. I'm getting bored. Research casual games. Do I wanna research casual games? Casual game design. Or. Ah, shit! Speaking of trains! Damn it. Alright. Turbo Train! There's tens in there! Please like Turbo Train. That's really good. Also good. Good. Come on, come on, come on, ten. Come on. Played it for. All right, this is pretty good. 
Much better than my shitty port. Uh, the Commodore 64 seems to be losing market share against other PC manufacturers. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. You, you guys are starting to get out. All right, just make me some money, Turbo Train. While I uh, immediately research it, see if there's anything I can learn about the market. Oh, look how many units it sold. 15,000 units? That's a lot in sales. That way, NES fans are going to go up the future and love Pro City Games and everything they could release in the future. So racing and simulation is great. Gameplay seems to be very important. Uh, everyone good. Racing for everyone good. So everyone, so everyone for NES is good. Okay. Can I can make an approved game engine? Nah, not without more research, which I can now do. They saw this cash money that it's got in. Improved sound. What's, what, what genre would want good sound in it? I'm not even sure. Oh, Nintendo, they're going to release the Game Link. The device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via connection cable. Hell yeah. Oh, can I even make, like, puzzle? I don't even, if I had puzzle game, I can make a really cool Game Boy game. Although I do have other ideas. I do have other ideas, like, instantly. So even though I'm, I'm researching all these new things, I think I need to develop a new engine to even implement these. But when I do... Look, Turbo Train just killed it. I feel really good about that. Uh... Oh. Oh, look. So racing games are great for everyone. Uh... uh... I don't want to. I don't want to make another racing game right away. That's just not me. I need to be more creatively challenged than consistently releasing racing games. Although that's of uh, gambling, the Game Boy's out. Perfect. I got a great genre I want to make for it. Okay, so we're making a new game. Wait, real quick. Oh, I'm out of research. Shit. Okay, fine. New game. So this one's for young people, because I feel like a lot of kids had the Game Boy using the Dingus engine. Uh, this is going to be a, a virtual pet game. Virtual pet simulation for the Game Boy. That immediately had 32% market share. Yeah, people are all about the Game Boy right now. So what's, uh, uh, uh ooh, oh, uh, Caterpillar, Caterpillar Care. So it's all about uh, caring for your a caterpillar, uh, and you slowly make it into different butterflies with uh, with different powers and shit. So eventually, they get the you're gonna like fire ones, and then you can like have them uh, battle just enemies or whatever. <laughs> Uh, they say sound's not as important for simulation. I don't remember. Should pay attention to that. Uh... Yeah. Uh, this would be good. I'll make a 3S Game Boy game. Kids will be all over it, making different butterflies so they can trade with each other or show off if they make a printer connection. Bring sound down and world design up. I really want to make a really want to establish the fictional world of caterpillar care and why these caterpillar exists and why people are caring for them. It could call, it could make some for some interesting elements and stories. Uh, there's now a growing audience for video game magazines. Video game magazines are on the way. I can now research marketing. Okay, if I could polish up Caterpillar Killer just a little bit. I did Caterpillar Care because I used to do that a lot as a kid. I love caterpillars. I would catch, catch them in jars all the time. Uh, I'm trying to polish it up and I just keep making bugs. This isn't going to get any better, is it? Alright. I feel good about this, though. Uh, my most technologically advanced game so far is for the Game Boy. And I'm leveling up a lot. Yes. Release that shit. 
better user experience or level editor. Better user experience seems really uh, generic. Can I get Ooh, a space game? I want RPG, damn it. All right, what do people think about Caterpillar Care? Oh, oh. Their focus on artificial intelligence serves this game very well. Uh, come on. Oh, that's two nines. Come on. Nine. Yes, best game ever. Best game ever. Best yet. Aim for the Game Boy. Oh, that's gonna crush it. Good job, Caterpillar Care. Love me. Give me money. Holy shoot. Oh, almost 70. The first game to sell over 50,000 units. If you have more than 1 million cash. Oh, I need 1 million cash to move on? Oh, the game gear. Hell yeah. I am not going to make sure it's a fucking game gear. I'm not an idiot. Oh my god. Look how. Dude, it's selling like crazy. Dude. New office? Uh, yeah. I did save a million dollars. Yeah, we're moving it. <laughs> yes. Welcome to your new office of Pro City Games. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. This is what I wanted. Uh, you have to complete staff management training. Shit, how do I do that? Uh, a staff list. There's Jared. Let's... Where is there a staff management button? Simply click on your player character. Access training menu. Oh, train. All right. I'm a train. Can you name your employees? I don't remember. Uh, people loved Caterpillar games. Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. This is all I needed to do. I could just quit now and still be kind of pretty happy with life. Sell the company. Okay, training done. All right, uh, ooh, my st budget for staff? I don't want to be cheap. Uh, let's go, let's go like 500,000. Um, uh, I want to see a demo. Start looking, show me what you got. Meanwhile, I'll research uh, nothing because I don't have any points. Time travel? Or, or nah, I don't think a level editor. That would be good for PCs. Could update the dingus engine. Include all of these. Yeah, let's do that. The dingus engine mark two. So while I, uh start finding someone to hire, I can start developing up my new engine to make even better games. David Reynolds. Jennifer, Bryce, Logan. Let me see here. Salary, 19,000 per month. Level two, 17,000 per month, 18,000 per month, 9,000 per month. All right, well, Logan sucks. Uh, let's go with, let me go with Jennifer. She looks great. Let's hire Jennifer. Achievement unlock. Hire someone famous? Did I? Medium games. Jennifer Kavanaugh? I feel like I should know that name, but I don't. Sorry. Staff welcome training. Game dev gems. Make me think. Game design for pirates. Don't repeat yourself. Code incomplete. Effect unknown. Uh, research that, because I don't know what it means. Well, I work on this. I wish I could rename her. I was gonna rename my employees, make one of them miss editor. That's what I wanted, I'm sorry. Caterpillar Care is finally off the market. But man, I'm rich. All right, so I just invested in a big old engine. All right, thing is engine mark two, now complete. In two months, the Commodore 64 will be taken off the market. And she's almost done with her thing. And then we'll work on a new game together. All right, she did it. What did that do for you? I don't understand medium games. Oh, like medium 
scope? Could be it. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, let's just keep researching until we're ready to make like the best damn fucking game shit. I'm gonna look at Caterpillar Killer. Look back upon my success and see why it worked so well. Get some fat research out of it. However, manufacturers around the world are surprised that Commodore 64 has filed for bankruptcy. Yep, there it is. Okay, so virtual and pads, great. World design is not important? Shit. That's amazing because I put a lot of work into... into uh, world design on that, and I guess I didn't need to. Uh, got to keep training myself. Oh, increases technology, design, research, and speed. Got it. So those are things you can just uh, do multiple times. Research a new topic. A level editor. Eh. Uh, publishing contracts. I've been following. Oh wait, a publisher. I've been following the project proceed against for a while. It seems your recent expansion you have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people. That's where a publisher comes in handy. A publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more, it's usually still worth it. Hmm. Do I want... Do I want... Alright. We can make a medium game. Here we go. We're developing a new game. A medium-sized game. For everyone. Uh, using the Dingus Engine Mark II for the, uh... Um... Still for the Game Boy still. Our first Game Boy game did so well. Like a, uh... I think a, I think a space game would make sense. A space action game? Space space action game. Uh... Uh... Nova Blast. Generic as fuck. Oh, wait. There we go. Nova Blast for everyone. Come on, Jennifer. Help me out. I think this little bar's uh, how tired they are. I forget what. Throw some tutorials in there. No, I don't need tutorials for this shit. What am I talking about? All right, so I'm going to work on the engine. You're going to work on the gameplay. Story and quest, I don't feel like it's very important here. Oh, I guess I'll also do story and quests, because whatever. Oh, I can also get a, another person. Look at this game's gonna be so good. We got two people working on it at the same time. Getting all those bubbles. Uh, let's see. Uh. Do you like that? Yep, go right there. I don't feel like I need to touch that much up very much, hopefully. Come on, Jennifer. You and I just gotta make another killer game. Uh, basic sounds? More like mono sounds. It's gonna sound dope on a Game Boy. Yeah, I don't think world design is as important here. Uh, I'm gonna let Jennifer kinda take the lead. Uh, maybe not. She's at 140% workload, I think is that that means. I'll take it. I got this. I got it. Don't worry about it. I'm looking out who Jennifer Kavanaugh is. Because I feel like I should know. Duh. Oh, we already got this finished up. I, I did a search and nothing came up, so I feel like an asshole. Alright, well, never mind. Alright, let's just finish this up. We're, we're sub 1 million! Unacceptable! New topic, new combo. Yeah! Release that shit. Ooh, simple cutscenes, better dialogue, open, open world. That seems ambitious. Alright. Please. Oh, I can see 10s in there, so it'll be on the higher end. Okay. I'll be honest. I didn't put as much of my heart into this as I did Caterpillar Care. That's fair. That's fair. 
Sometimes you need a little, little shooty shooty in in your space games. It's uh, oh, I really want to work with publisher deals. Yeah, so the publisher deals like if you make a thief action game for PC, here's like the percentage you make. This could help me make fans though. Ubersoft, Active Visionaries, Lowood, Infro Games. <laughs> Instead of Info Grames. Do you want a transport simulation game? We'll think about it. In the meantime, we're gonna do some research here. Ah, I really want those cutscenes. Jennifer. Uh, how about some of that? Got 31 points. Uh, uh, what's, do I have any new topics yet? Oh, that's right, time travel. Get the better dialogues. Nova Blast didn't crush it. It was only 23,000 in its first week compared to Caterpillar Care, which had like almost 70. But you know what? F uh, sales are sales. Sometimes you just need that. I'm not sure I fully understand what better user experience entails, but I'll research it. And then let's try to figure out what 6.75 is. Let's find out what went. What happened with Nova Blast? It seems like a, we need time to reflect. Uh, am I getting hacked? This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you're interested, you can transfer 59,000 to the enclosed uplink location. No? I don't need hackers trying to give me market insights. Through illegal means? I don't need that. Can I hire a third person? Alright, space and action is great. Gameplay is important. Uh, action on a Game Boy is okay. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, I want another person, but maybe cheaper. <laughs> I can do complex al algorithms, and I'll find a third person. Uh, only got a few research points left. So I feel like Make Me Think will be technology. Game design for Pirates me speed. Oh, don't repeat yourself. Improve my, uh, my design. And, uh, we'll train her too. Whatever. All right, Amy Hart, Manuel Jenkins. Oh, so I said complex jiggers, and I got all kinds of a. Uh... Oh, your your points are super high, and you're level one. I actually like you, Nolan Parks. Welcome to the team, Nolan. Diversity, huh? You're welcome. That wasn't even a point of any of my hires, but I'm glad I did. Oh, the Sega Genesis is coming! I'm sorry, the Vita Oasis is coming! Ooh. It might appeal to more mature audiences. Interesting. Maybe I'll do that. But when this... Oh, I don't have my RPGs ready yet for Super Nintendo. I really want it! Okay, I gotta, I gotta end this here because I can do this forever before I become too addicted because this game is actually super fun. Uh, don't forget to comment down below uh, what kind of Sega Genesis game should I make? What, what do you want? Up to the client list, whatever. Medium-sized contracts have now been unlocked. All right. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you're still enjoying this. Uh, market towards adventure games. Good to know. And uh, subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching. See you next time.